so we'll see all of them one by one particularly we'll see the check constraint in this video and in the upcoming videos we'll see all the constraints one by one so let's start with the check constraints okay the definition of a check constraint is that it ensures that a column's value satisfy the condition that we put the condition in the check expression so uh, as we discussed that in our case the pain price value should not be negative so we can add a such constraint that will restrict doing this so let's see one basic example first that ensures the product prices can be positive always so for that let's create the table the table is already there so we need to drop and recreate it okay now let's create the table the table is created if we insert the first record first record says the product number is 1 product name is product a and the price is 10 so it should allow us to insert the data okay the data is inserted now in this case what will happen if we try to insert this data this will definitely fail because the check constraint will not allow it to pass the value is minus 5 is against the expression of this check constraint that we are checking price should always be greater than 0 not even 0 so if we try to insert it we will get an error we got the error and here you can see one thing it says that it violates the check constraint the constraint name is written here but if you see there is nowhere we have written the constraint name what is the constraint name so how it is decided the PostgreSQL decided itself it will append the table name products and underscore then the column name price and then the type of constraint in this case this is taken by default but we can give a meaningful name as per our convenience as well so let's see that one also a naming check constraint is that we can give our defined name to a constraint as well so in this case if you see everything is same except that we have added a keyword called constraint and then a name to that constraint and rest is same so let's create the table again the table is created if we perform the insertion it will definitely allow the insertion because the product price is 15 which is greater than 0 okay the product is inserted now if I perform this operation this will fail because this is not less than sorry this is not satisfying the condition of check constraint which is greater than 0 but this is less than 0 hence this record will not be inserted and we will get the error in this error you can see the constraint name that is the positive price constraint okay so this was the difference between first example and the second example now let's drop the table so the next example is of multiple check constraint example on multiple columns we can apply check constraint on multiple columns of a table and also in the check constraint expression multiple columns can be involved for example here we have created three check constraint on first on price second on discounted price and the third is itself okay why the third is different here if you see we haven't mentioned any particular column so when this type of constraint we create this is called table constraint and the first two example this is on price and this is on the discounted price constraint okay so these two are called column constraint and the third one this type of constraint is called a table constraint in this example what we are trying to do is we are trying to check if both the prices means the price actual price and the discounted price both are positive or not yes we are checking that and in the third check we are checking that the price should always be greater than the discounted price for example say uh, we have a product of uh, $50 but the discounted price we are giving $60 so that is not possible if we are saying it is a discounted price that means it should always be less than the original price so we have implemented that constraint now let's see with example now I am trying to insert this record this should allow me or not yes this should allow it because the original price is 20 and the discounted price is 15 so the third constraint is validated and also the first two constraint are also validated because all are positive numbers so if I try to insert it it should be inserted okay first we need to create the table the table is created now let's insert it okay the data is inserted now in this case what will happen in this case insertion will be failed because the original price is less than the discounted price which should not be allowed so let's see this okay the data inside is failed and we got the error here if you see 
in the constraint name we got the name as products check there is no column because th this is a table constraint in table constraint it is created always at the table level where multiple columns are involved now let's see an example of column constraints and table constraints with a named table constraint example in this case what happens in the as i already explained you that in case of column constraint it is applicable for a single column and it is defined right after the column type but the table constraints involve multiple columns so let's see the example of it so in this case what we are trying to do is we are creating two column constraints and then one table constraints with the name as valid discount so the constraint name is valid discount now let's create the table the table is created let's insert the data this should be inserted because the valid data are here now in this example this data will not be inserted and will get error because the original price is less than the discounted price we got the error and here you can see got the check constraint name as valid discount because we have provided the name to the constraint now let's see how we can handle the null values this null value handling we'll see in more details in not null constraint but in this also i'll show you shortly a check constraint returns true if the condition is met or if the value is null so to prevent the null value we can use the not null constraint as well so in this case in the product table what we are trying to do is uh, we are providing the value price greater than zero that is fine but if we provide the value price null so that will get inserted because the null value is always unknown value so unknown thing cannot be compared to anything you need to remember there is a difference between zero and null zero means zero can be compared zero can be calculated but the null value the null value cannot be calculated cannot be measured so first let's create the table the table is created and now let's try to insert the data in the first example the name value we have providing here as null whereas name column we have defined as not null so this will be failed okay the insert query is failed we haven't provided any name value so in the next insert what we are trying to do is we are trying to provide the name value but we are not providing the price value if we don't have this not null check this should get inserted but here in the price we have declared it as not null so this will also not allow the null value so let's try to insert it failed to insert because the price value cannot be null so this was about the check constraints so in the next video we'll discuss about the not null constraints in details if the video was helpful to like the video and subscribe the channel to get notifications for upcoming video so let's meet in the next video with the topic of not null constraint in postgresql database till then take care bye bye